Hi, everybody. My name is Matthias. I come from Lower Austria, where I live with my wife and my two kids. Just want to greet them shortly. Hello, meine Lieben. They're probably watching the live stream. So I'm a web developer um, using Elm in production. And I want to show you today how easy it is to build a visual and reactive application in Elm. And the showcase here is building a framework for Prezi-like presentations. Prezi is a presentation software where you draw all your presentation content on one big page, and you define frames and regions where you want to zoom into, where you want to move to in order to go through your presentation. So what's the big picture of Elm? The Elm architecture is a model view controller architecture, which is event-driven. So we have the events from the outer side, from the user, or from the web. We map them into our application through subscriptions, map them to a message type, pass that message type on into the update function, which updates our model, which is then rendered by the view and presented to the user. So how would we build a Prezi-like presentation framework using this architecture. So first, we define our model. We need a list of frames, and there's always one current frame, the frame we are currently viewing on. And the second thing we need is the transition state. So whenever we are moving from one frame to the other, we have a transition. So this is a zero-one relationship. What does this look like in Elm code? So for this case, we, we use a record type, we have frames, the list of frames, the current frame, and the transition state. And that transition state is of type maybe transition. So this one lets us define, lets us explicitly model a zero one relationship in Elm. So any null point exception is eliminated at runtime, and actually any runtime exception is limited with Elm. OK, now what does the view look like? Here we are using SVG for pre presenting our content. And SVG has this really useful attribute, the view box, which lets us define a frame within our SVG drawing which we want to be scaled up to our viewport. And that's what it looks like in HTML. We have the SVG element, we give it this view box attribute, and the x, y coordinates and the width and height dimensions. And within the SVG element, we have our presentation content. What does it look like in Elm code? Don't be frightened. That's the view function. It gets a model as its input and outputs HTML. And within the view function, we create this SVG element. So we say SVG and give it a list of attributes, the width, height, and the view box attribute. And the view box attribute gets the values from this current frame. And in the lower part of this function, we add our presentation content. OK. Now for the most important part of this presentation, how do we make it move? How do we make it reactive, actually? And that goes through subscriptions. So first, we need to define what kind of messages we expect in our application. Here we expect fourth. This is when the user wants to move forward in his presentation and tick. This we need when we need to animate the transition, so when we move from one frame to the other. And float here is the, the time delta between two animation frames of the browser. So having these messages defined, we um, define our subscriptions. So here we want to subscribe to mouse clicks, this is what mouse.clicks does. So whenever the user clicks anywhere on the screen, we map that event to the fourth message. And in the case we have a transition, um, then we subscribe to the animation frame dot diffs subscription, which hooks into the browser's window dot request animation frame and gets the time delta from there and passes it on to our tick message. So we can write very declaratively our, our subscriptions to, to events in Elm. 
So having these two messages, the final thing we need to define is the update function. So what does the update function signature look like? We have the message coming in, the current model state, and we output an updated model state. And in our update function, we evaluate this message. So in case of fourth, we do something. And in case of tick, we do something. I'm not going into detail here. It's just um, pulling out the first frame from the list of frames, putting it into the transition state. Um, and in case of tick, we checking, is there already a transition going on? We update the progress value. Um, and finally, um, update the, the current frame doing some math, uh, applying this new progress value and stuff. So finally, that's all we need to do in order to build pretty light presentations in Elm. The final thing we need to do is to um, wire all those parts up. And that's what happens here in HTML.program. This is a function coming from Elm's, from one of Elm's core libraries, um, calling them in the, main, in the main function of Elm. The main function is the main entry point of any Elm program. And here in HTML.program, let me start from the bottom. We, we define our subscription function and the view function. We set our update function here. We need to wrap it a little bit. Um, I'm not explaining this in detail why this is needed. And finally, in it is our initial model state where we want our application to start from. And this might look something like this, for example. We have a current frame with these values. The transition is set to nothing because in the beginning we don't have any transitions, of course. And we have our list of frames. That's all we need to do. So if you're int more interested in this stuff, I've created a little web app where you can run your own pretty like presentation um, with, with ease. You just have to create a vector graphics file, put it in there, and it runs. You don't have to code actually anything. But you can also find all the links and sources there. Thank you. Matthias, thank you very much. Let's look into Slido if we have a question or not. Da, 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 da. Or not. Or we can do the analog old school way of if you raise your hand and have an impressive voice, you can ask a question. Yes. No, no, of, of course, Prezi does a, a way, way more things to be performant and to have it really useful for production. This is a showcase, okay? It's not meant for, so um, the question was about for developers, for little rendering. presentations yeah. like this one. Um, this one is made in, with this framework, by the way. I haven't mentioned that, actually. Yeah. Well, awesome. Matthias, thank you very you much for your time. You can also see me at, uh, meet me at the Elm workshop tomorrow. We'll also be there.